How does a jelly gel? You've probably never thought about that. I have, though. I'm a home science student. You eat lots of things, but you don't always understand the science of food. What is food? Why do we eat? How does a jelly gel? This is a model of part of the gelatin molecule. At low temperatures, gelatin molecules absorb and bind water, and this is what produces the gel. It's not possible to show a molecular action, but we can see the gelatin particles absorbing water. The particles are colored so you can see more clearly what's happening as they're sprinkling into the water. Now you can see the gelatin absorbing the water and binding it to form a jelly. High-speed cinematography speeds it up. Some people have trouble mixing gelatin. They shouldn't. It's simple if you follow the directions. Don't use boiling water because boiling water reduces the gelling action. Sprinkle the gelatin into the hot water. Stir briskly. It's ready. Just in case you didn't know, gelatin is 87% protein. It's built up from 20 odd alpha amino acids and it's easy to use. So many different ways to use it. You can really make so many beautiful looking things and it's cheap. buy my vegetables here. I'm going to make a tomato salad. Mmm, that means cucumber and cocktail onions. You can be pretty creative and flexible with a salad. Oh, this is Joe. He's quite a character. We even swap recipes. Always wash your hands. Now, tomato salad. We put an envelope of gelatin into the hot water, stir it briskly. All dissolved? Fine. Cut your tomatoes, or they can be quartered or sliced, take your pick. You can prepare your cucumber two ways. We'll peel it, then slice it, but you can leave the skin on for a decorative effect. The gelatin base should be well flavoured. This savoury base has lemon vinegar and seasoning. Pour it into a chilled mould and refrigerate the mixture until it has the consistency of unbeaten egg white. Test this with a spoon. Then add the tomatoes, pushing them down firmly. Add your other ingredients the same way. Then refrigerate again. If your consistency isn't right, you'll find your vegetables will rise and spoil the final effect. And moldy can look like a scene from one of those 1920 movies. <laughs> Unmolding isn't like that at all. In fact, it's quite easy. Dip the mold into warm water. Lukewarm like a baby's bath for a few seconds. If the water's too hot, the jelly will melt. Run the tip of a knife carefully round the mold. Place a plate on top of the mold, turn upside down and shake gently. The jelly should leave the mold readily. Hey, that's not a bad salad.
like ice cream? I can't resist it. And all these new flavors they have now are terrific. They use gelatin in ice cream too. It stabilizes. This means it prevents the growth of ice crystals. Ice cream is produced at temperatures below the freezing point of water. And without a stabilizer, large ice crystals would develop. Gelatin in the mixture forms a protective coating around the crystals and prevents them growing. And that's how you get soft ice cream. To make our own, we set our refrigerator controls at freezing. I've added the sugar and powdered milk to the evaporated milk. Now the cool gelatine solution. It must be cool to blend easily with the other chilled ingredients and doesn't string or set before mixing. into a mushy consistency. stages. Beat the mixture again, adding flavoring. I'm adding strawberry. Now, back to the freezer until set. Use the bowls if you have a large freezer. If not, pour back into the trays. I came all this way to buy fresh cream. I get a flat tire. Bad for the fingernails. They tell me gelatine's good for the nails. Besides cream, I need eggs, yogurt, cream cheese, peaches, and I have to get some biscuits. It's for a cheesecake. That's the trouble with being a domestic science student. As soon as your family know you can cook, you get requests from everyone. I don't mind a cheesecake, though. It's a lot easier than it looks. Make sure eggs are carefully separated. sugar and salt and blend. Gently cook over low heat until the mixture is smooth. Add the gelatine solution. It needn't be cooled. Soften the cream cheese, and to this add yogurt and lemon juice.
Add your egg and gelatin mixture to this. Blend the mixture thoroughly. Right, ready for the egg whites which should be beaten till they're stiff. Add to the main mixture. Whip the cream till it's thick. Mix this in two. Pour into a chilled crumb case. I made this from crushed biscuits and butter with a little spice. I wanted to make it a little more decorative, so I added peach slices. Ah, there it is. It's easy to get mixed up with the cream type dishes. Spanish cream and angel's food are good examples. Spanish cream usually has three layers. A layer of jelly, a layer of custard mixture, and a layer of fluffy cream. Angel food is an unseparated cream mixture. We separate it by boiling and breaking for Spanish cream. We don't boil for angel's food. I had a lecture by a chef from a big hotel. I went when they were working on a big banquet. This was lucky for me because they had some spectacular gelatine dishes. All the type of things that you wouldn't normally make yourself. I found the hotel kitchen much as I expected. Big and busy and naturally everything they were doing was interesting. The chef showed me the banquet table about ten minutes before the guests were due to arrive. Chauffeur turkey, glazed lamb, chauffeur ham and chickens. The chef told me that chauffeur is made by mixing mayonnaise and gelatine. Glazed, sliced, mixed, decorated with pineapple and other fruits. Egg mayonnaise with caviar. This leg ham is decorated with mandarin segments and finely sliced radishes. This gardening scene looks peaceful. It is, except I know what to expect. My mother is away, my father will want a banquet lunch. I shouldn't have told him about that hotel visit. That's what I thought. Catch your own fish as well.